And the guests keep rolling in. Kyle Whittingham, 154th career win, still fresh off that Gatorade bath from Corinne Reed. They got sticky. you good. A little sticky. A little sticky. That's all right. We'll take you. Coach, congratulations. I, there was, I saw you on the sideline at one point in the second half, and you just had this sort of like wonderful little smile on your face. You just felt, I was watching you and it just felt like the tide turned. What changed for this team? Well, first of all, we started playing defense like we're capable of. We didn't play very good defense in that first quarter. Uh, credit USC, they came out, guns blazing. Quarterback was on fire. Once we settled into a little bit of a rhythm on defense, got our feet back on the ground, started tackling better. Things things uh, got better from that point. Offensively, I thought we were really good from start to finish. Scored a bunch of points. That's what, 80 plus points on a, on a good football team in the two games that we played him this year. And uh, Cam Rising, what, what can you say about that young man? Just an absolute warrior. In fact, we got a whole football team full of warriors, but he's the he's the alpha dog of the warriors. Coach, I know you guys obviously bring a lot of pressure. Coach and I normally say when we see that much pressure, it's like dial a blitz. Like you're just yeah, spinning a wheel, exactly. seeing what you get. But I'm wondering, did any of that, did you guys notice early? Because we noticed early something was going on with Cam after that long yeah. run he had. Did you guys notice that yeah, on Caleb, the sideline? Yeah, after oh, I'm he, sorry, Caleb. Yeah, when he uh, starts slowing down, we dialed it up a little bit more because that, that's what you got to do. I mean, if you got a quarterback that can't escape, you know, at full capacity, then you got to start bringing more heat. Coach, you go to the first game of the season, you had 20 missed tackles. This linebacking crew seemed to mature and evolve as the year went on. What have you seen from the trio that made so many plays, including this one, that basically sealed it at the end of the ball game? Yeah, those guys were fabulous tonight. Uh, Mahmoud Diabate, uh, great you know, transfer from Florida, was a great addition to our football team. Kareni Reed uh, has been so steady for us. And then the youngster, Lander Barton, true freshman, whose ceiling is off the charts. I mean, he's got so much upside and uh, all three of those guys played very well tonight Kyle you year in and you're out your team appears to be the best coach team in the league I know you don't probably want to you guys are always solid you're sound and you just get it done with with guys okay you don't get the four or fives all the time you get some of them but What's the, the recipe? What's the secret sauce? I think there's a few things to that. Number one, we've got great assistant coaches in this program. They develop the players. Uh, you know, they get them in here and just start working with them. And, and our assistant coaches do a phenomenal job of maximizing the players' potential. Our strength room is a huge part of our success. We get guys come in and, you know, they're 210 pounds. And a year and a half later, they're 240 and ready to grow, ready to go. So, so it's a combination of a bunch of things. But uh, the, the attitude, the work ethic, and uh, just the competitive nature of our football team is uh, is incredible. You know, Coach, I, I, they're talking about letting you go, but I don't want to let you go because I, I got to know because you had talked about development. And what's happening in college football now is guys are going to a place, not getting everything they want. Someone develops when they go somewhere else. And you got a guy named Quinton Jackson who started off playing quarterback. Things didn't go well for him at the end of the, the season last year. And now he's scoring two of the most important touchdowns you have. Take me through the discussions you were having with him that kept him here and now where he's at now. Because I think coaches, I mean, well, first of all, J.J.'s attitude has never wavered. He's, he was a little disappointed at times, but never was a, uh, a negative person in the locker room, anything like that. Uh, when we got down on numbers of the running back position, we approached J.J. And uh, actually, I think he approached, well, Coach Ludwig is the one that put the bug in his ear, said, hey, we're down on backs, what do you think? And uh, he came in the next day, says, I'm all in. Uh, he was a running back, seventh, eighth, ninth grade, so it's not completely foreign to him. But uh, he's a team guy all the way. And what he added to our football team from the running back position was a huge difference maker for us. We're going to see another video with you and Cam rising in those trucks that up before the Rose Bowl. Amazing. I'll tell you what, our, our social media department is second to none. <laughs> and uh, we are always at the top of the nation. And, and uh, you'll see another one, I'm sure, at some point. You know what I heard? You were a one take wonder. I, said, I, I asked Matt, I said, how, how many times? She said, oh, he, he's an, he could be an actor. He could be in Hollywood. Roll She's right too up. kind. Yeah. She's too kind. But. Coach, congratulations. I know a lot of big you've won a lot of big games in your career, but I'm sure this one feels just as special as any of them. Absolutely. Good luck in Pasadena. We're Thank you guys. For you. Appreciate all you guys. Thank you. Thanks.